Hey, what's going on everybody? Today, we have to take our trailer in for a quick inspection just to see everything is on the up and up. Remember, check your state's regulations to see when you have to take your trailer in on this episode of the Smalls RV Adventures. Stay tuned, everybody. All right, this is the first time that I'm actually driving this trailer without anyone in it. I'm usually driving and I have my family and my wife guiding me but the children are in school, so I have to do this alone. This place is about 30 minutes away, and they said it takes about 45 minutes to get everything done. So this is my first time. Wish me luck, everybody. going on a short trip and a couple of days so like getting this inspection done is pretty key because uh, you don't want to be driving around with an inspired inspection even though nothing is wrong with the trailer you can get fined for driving with the uh, expired inspection so that's why I want to get it done before the trailer expires the inspection expires I'm listening to the GPS to see how to get to this location because I don't know how to get there I've never been there before so that's why you know I'm pausing because it was just talking I don't know if it comes up on the camera but short distance but I have to take the highway to get there again it's my first time doing this so bear with me I'm taking you guys through the journey, through the adventures, the ups and downs, the goods and the bads. I don't know what this one is gonna be, but I'm taking you guys with me. We're going down this highway. There's a big truck going by me. This is where you feel the sway bars come in handy here because I didn't even feel any sway. I thought it was a big truck, but it has no trailer attached to it. But this is great. My wife made me laugh as I was leaving because she knows it's the first time I'm driving a trailer alone. So she's like, see you when I see you. Be careful of low clearances, because she usually catches the low clearances before I do. So that was like really, really funny. But that's why I like to stay on the interstates, because when you're on the interstates, you don't have to worry about many clearances, because that's where all the truck drivers drive when they're making their deliveries or transporting goods they take the interstates and usually the clearances are very high so you don't have to worry. If you do come and you're on a motorway, expressway or highway, wherever, there's usually signs that let you know before you get there. So it re either redirects you or you go around the clearance if you can't get under it. But this highway that I'm on now, all the bridges are high over so I don't have to worry about clearances and I'm about to get off. Oh, I see one up there, but that's pretty high. I pass that one a lot. But when I get off the highway, that's when I have to look out because I've never been to this area before. All right, we made it in a bit early. So we have a small wait, but this place is huge. And I didn't have to worry about coming in because I saw on the internet that it had a really, really big open space. And I'm not sure where they take the trailer to do the inspection, but where I'm at now, it's like a really big open space. And I'll show you where I think they take it. If it's in the back there, then it's a really big space as well. So I'm not worried about that. So I did have to bring the trailer into the back through that gate that I showed you guys earlier, but it's a big space back here. The only thing is I think I'm gonna have to back up to get out the same way that I got in. But there's a big space here where I can probably turn around the trailer or back the trailer into a spot and turn it around to get back out. So I'm not worried about that. The serviceman is doing the write up on a trailer now, but he did show me my leaf springs. He told me my leaf springs are starting to build, bend, not build. And they shouldn't be because of the year of the trailer 
and the weight capacity of the trailer. He said that the lease springs that were put on were maybe too small, so I have to talk to the dealer. So I'm going to go back to the dealer because my trailer is 2021, so I know it was one of those COVID rush uh, trailers, so I'm going to check that out. He also said I may not have to pay if I switch them out. I don't need to switch them out now. They're still good, but when I do switch them out, I should get more heavy-duty ones than the ones that they put on the trailer because these ones are for a smaller trailer, not for the size of my trailer. Because the gross weight of my trailer is 6,400 dry and it can have a max load capacity of 7,800. And there's no way that I have over a thousand pounds of equipment inside the trailer. We just have food and some pots and pans. So I'll say that we have about 600 to 700 pounds and that's being generous. Okay, the trailer's done. I got the new inspection sticker on. I'm good until September. I'm happy about that. Okay, the inspection is done, but I do need gas. I looked at my gauge, I'm like, oh man, so I gotta head down to get the gas. But uh, I'm gonna get gas and then put the RV back in storage until tomorrow. And I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the day, but I'm not done yet. I'm taking you guys with me to go get some of this gas. Back on the road again, on the road again. My singing voice is terrible, but I'm almost taking it storage, the trailer back into storage. I love these side camera views here. But that's somewhat of what I see when I'm looking in the rear view mirror. The serviceman providing service to the car, to the trailer, he was really, really nice. So I hooked him up with a tip. I don't even know if you're supposed to take a tip, but I asked first just to make sure that it was okay. And he said it was okay. So I offered to buy him lunch for the day. It's only something that's pretty cool because uh, he did a good job, you know, just telling me things to look out for. He told me I didn't need new leaf springs. He said, but when it's time to change them to see if I can upgrade them. And he said I can contact the dealer beforehand to see if they would do it for free. He didn't have to tell me that, but he did. He didn't try to say that I need them right now. He didn't try to push the service on me. He just told me that when it's time to upgrade to go for the more heavy duty ones because the ones that they put on the trailer probably weren't the ones that supposed to go on. So he was, he was really nice. So I wanted to reward him by giving him a, a nice lunch today. So I hope uh, he's able to get a good lunch. All right, I made it to the gas station. The gas here is about 4.15 a gallon, and I'm almost empty. I'm at 45 miles to empty. I like these infotainment gauges things. I don't know exactly what they're called, but as you can see right here, I have 45 miles to empty. So still have some ways to go, but when you have the trailer, you always want to keep it as full as you can. All right, we made it to the gas station. Let's see how much it costs to fill up. I like coming to this gas station because there's a lot of room in here, so I don't have to worry about fitting under or uh, there's enough space to get by. So that's why I really like this place. This is an Exxon gas station, if you guys were wondering, but it has high roofs. I see a lot of uh, trucks coming here, so that's why I always come in. This is the dreaded point when you come to the gas station, it's looking at the fuel the amount that it's gonna cost you and the gallons and we were almost empty. I love looking at the landscaping as I come to different places, how well kept everything is. It's really nice to look at. Helps my day go by even faster when I have beautiful things to look at. Okay, the grand total was 78.54 for 18.8 gallons, my Lord. Remember guys, hit that thanks button below if you want to help out in any way. Anything that we get goes right back into the channel. All right, we filled up with gas, so we are ready for our trip tomorrow. We still have to do a bit of grocery shopping, so I'm gonna see if my wife wants to do it today or do it tomorrow on our way down to the campground. Either way, I'm fine, but I have to see and clear it with her first. 
So we got the inspection done and the gas filled up in the uh, tow vehicle. And it's pretty cool. 78 plus 41, whatever that is. Let's just round that off and say it's about 120 bucks, you know, to get the inspection and a full up with uh, the gas for the car for our trip tomorrow. So that's not bad at all. I always appreciated nature. I always wanted to come over here and just look at the beautiful ambience of this area. Always wanted to park the trailer here, but the weather never permitted. All things going on in the area never permitted. But this is one of the nice places I like to come with the trailer. It's nice when you can find these places in seclusion and no one's around. This place is usually packed, but this time during the day, there's no one around here. So this is pretty cool. I'm usually not around here this time of day. All right, before I get back in and drive off, let me show you guys what the service man was telling me. See under here, these things over here are the leaf springs. You have four of them. What he's telling me is that while I'm driving, these things are bouncing up and down. And then let me see if I can angle the camera so you guys can see in there. You see those bolts right there? They are hitting against the frame of the car. That's a lot of space for these things to be bouncing up. So he told me that to fix that, all I have to do is get stronger leaf springs. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't want this video to get super long because we're going to be doing a lot more videos like this where we're traveling, getting things fixed or traveling, just going to our next point and destination. I'm so happy to get that inspection out of the way so we can travel and not worry about anything and just go from state to state as we please. If you like these videos, please hit that like button. Let me know some of your stories about when you had to take your travel trailer and your rig in for an inspection or service that you needed if you want to help our channel out in any way that's what that thanks button is down there for anything we get for the channel we put right back in the channel as you saw with the inspection of our travel trailer and the fuel that we putting in to have give us the energy for this ride i want to thank all of you that comes with us on this journey and if you're learning this is a great channel to learn everything about traveling on the road. We've been all up and down the East Coast. We're journeying to the West to conquer those territories as well. And each problem that we get with the travel trailer, we're taking you along with us and showing you how we fix it. So when it happens to you, you can just refer to us and you'll be calm and get your things fixed and be squared off and be back on the road in no time. That's all I got for you this week. So until next time, see you later, everybody.